Hey everyone, it's Tony from XLA.com. Just want to do a quick flight review on this new Wakara V120 D05. Uh, this package is available in two different types of packages, guys. It's available in the air off, which is pretty much like a plug and play that you just bind up to uh, any one of your Wakara six channel or and up transmitter. And it's also available in a ready to fly package that comes with the 26, I believe, 03 uh, transmitter. But today I'll be using my own Wakara 2801 Pro transmitter. Just to me, I have a Oh, there's a ladybug on here. I don't want to kill it or squish it. So this one's fully programmable. You guys can see here, you program the pitch curve, throttle curve, all different bells and whistles. That's so, that's, so that's why I'm using this one. It's just a little bit easier to set up. Where's the ladybug? All right, it's off. Don't want to squish it. <laughs> so a little bit more about this uh, helicopter. It's very similar to the V120 series, except that D05 now is a bell-driven setup. So it's pretty, me uh, it's pretty neat. There's no tail motors. There's no tail gears. So it's a little bit more durable if you guys are flying over, you know, like thick carpet or grass, kind of like this area, where it will not strip out the gears uh, easily and there's no more tail motors to burn out. The receiver on here is a 2615V uh, receiver. So I haven't flown it yet, so we're gonna see how it flies today. The battery is a one cell 850 milliamp battery pack. It's a fly barless, as you guys can see here. So we're gonna see how it flies. So let me get the transmitter turned on, plug in the batteries and show you guys what this uh, helicopter from Walkera can do. All right, we got liftoff. Small little helicopter. It's drifting back a little bit, so I'll probably have to play with the linkages a tad bit more. Do a little bit of nose in. I think it's pretty quiet for a small little helicopter. It looks pretty cute. <laughs> you guys can see here, it's pretty stable. The canopy looks pretty nice. It has like a nice uh, kind of candy metallic, metallic red to it with the black windshield on there. And it looks kind of like the higher end models, but for a smaller uh, package right here. So let me bring it on down because you guys are getting me or getting bored of me just hovering it. So, and it, plus the wind's picking up, so I want to keep it down a little bit. Let's put into idle up mode. I have idle up one and two. We put an idle up two just so to get the head speed higher. For a small helicopter, it's not too strong on the climb out, but it's pretty. It should be decent enough for a small helicopter. And I think the gyros are kicking in a tad bit. So I have the gains a little too high in the fly barless unit. So let me uh, bring it a little higher and flip it over. Get a little low inverted. The wind's picking up, so I don't want to go too low now and have the, the wind kind of suck it down. Let's see, small little helicopter doing 3D. What more can you ask for in a small helicopter this size, guys? I need a little bit more uh, negative on the climb out. But just flipping it over, it has plenty of power. Pretty smooth, no more uh, bobbling. One thing I noticed about the V120 D02 is that when I flip it over, there tends to be a slight bobble. But with this uh, 2615V uh, receiver, there's not that much of a bobble. So let me bring it on, right on down and program a little bit more uh, pitch on the negative side so I can get more climb out. All right, guys, I got the pitch curve uh, readjusted, so let's uh, fly it again and see how she goes. Almost had the tail stuck in the, the little tall grass right there. A little bit more pitch. All right. Oh. The wind's picking up a tad bit. Let me go adjust the gyros a little bit too. This is just the main of flight, guys, so you guys can see. I haven't even really messed with this helicopter much, not even get the first flight. So let me get the gyros adjusted a tad bit more to make it a little bit more stable for you guys. So we land it and make some more adjustments so you guys are 
getting the actual first flight out of the box. Get my little handy wrench right over here. Nice cutouts up front, so it's uh, very easy to make adjustments. Nothing too bad. Get the gains up a tad bit. Turn both the elevator and the aileron. Let me turn the balance delay down a little bit. It's kind of kicking in a little too early. That's one thing about these uh, fly barless units. It takes a little bit of setup. If you guys want to get a little bit of a three performance out of it, but if you guys just want to do hovering out the box, it flies, you know, just great. But to get a little bit more 3D performance, you will have to spend a little bit of time just to tweak the units up a tad bit. So let me spool them back up. All right, let's go for a takeoff. Make sure there's no bobble. Eh, maybe a tad bit. I can. Oh. <laughs> the gyro's kicked in. Get some circuits. And a great thing about these uh, tail driven setups that has like a belt or a shaft is that you can do a lot of these uh, left turn maneuvers up real easy when you're going fast. Because with the tail motors, uh, you kind of have to use the the torque of the main of the main rotors to actually you know kick it around. All right, let me land this helicopter over here. Yeah. Timer went off. Unplug it just to be safe. All right, you guys just saw the flight footage of this uh, Walkera V120 D05 from Walkera. It had a few crashes, but you guys can see I just picked it right up, fly it again, so that's how durable it is. The blades are made out of very lightweight foam with a carbon spar on there, so you guys can see no marks, so that's the advantage of flying at a grass field and with a helicopter this light. Very little minimal damage, but I just picked it back up and fly it again. The fly barrel unit does take a little bit of uh, adjustments. Uh, the first crash, I had the gains too high, so when I tried to flip it over, it didn't want to let the helicopter flip over, so it kind of corrected itself and just like kind of like this. So I panicked, lost control of it, crashed it, picked it back up, turned the gains down, and flew it some more. Uh, this helicopter does like the gains a little bit lower. I'll say uh, on the on the pot right over here on the 2615V right here. Just turn down the gains a little bit below the 50% mark and adjust the balance just a little bit higher, kind of like more towards the positive side. And I crank the uh, the extent the EXT for the aileron and elevator almost fully max, and then that's how it should fly. It flies a lot better with the gains turned down, the balance a little bit higher, and the uh, EXT uh, the extent pot just make it a little bit. Uh, just crank it all the way to so get more servo movement and that makes everything nice and crisp. Uh, good, this has a good amount of power on the 1200 or 12,000 kV motor on here. I think it's 12,000, it's a little high, but it says 12,000, so I'll go with 12,000. Um, the pitch was a little low, so I went up, or so I went back and I adjusted the pitch a little bit more. Uh, these blades are a little small, so it's kind of hard for me to measure the pitch, so I pretty much went by just uh, kind of experience and just kind of eyeballing it and making sure I have enough pitch, and that's, and that's what I went by. And after the first flight, you know, keep everything nice and high, play around with it, just a safe distance. So you, you, you always want to keep at least three, four mistakes high when, you first, when you're doing your first maiden flight like I did earlier. So you guys just saw the flight review of this Wakira V120 D05. So thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for some more flight videos coming up very soon, guys.